Greetings to one and all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In this time of social distancing and lockdown, we are all confined inside our houses away from schools and colleges, from meeting and hanging out with friends and relatives, even to the extent of not being able to attend church. I want to ask everyone this question, how have we all been spending our days during this time of global pandemic? I am sure for some these days you must have spent helping and doing household chores or doing something productive for yourself and for your family. But there might be some who have spent your days watching movies, playing games, chatting with friends or actively engaging in social medias. And some may have slept and laced the whole day. Also, some might have spent these days worriedly thinking about COVID-19, being afraid if you will get infected or worse. Well, I would want everyone to be positive and have patience. Instead of panicking, I want us all to be thankful to God for whatever is happening in our lives and around us. I take this opportunity to encourage all my dear youths and listeners that God is giving us the right time to get on our knees. This evening, I want to share with you all about the most effective weapon called prayer. Prayer, the greatest trend. Prayer is the awareness of God's presence in our lives. It is the belief that God is faithful and the assurance that He is on our side. It is the trust that God loves us, the confidence that with God we can accomplish everything. Prayer is the mightiest power in the world because it changes persons and persons change things. Prayer deepens our faith and strengthens our hopes. The value of prayer is not that we are able to change God, but we change ourselves by obeying the will of God in our lives. God listens to the heart and not to what we merely pronounce from our lips. When we get into prayer with clean and sincere heart, we can feel and experience the presence of God in our, in our midst and His blessings upon us. Always remember that God is not pleased with the sacrifice of animals or costly gifts, but what is most pleasing and acceptable to God is surrendering our own self to Him and come before Him as we are. As you kneel down before God this evening to pray, I want you all to ponder on these few points. When you pray, acknowledge your insufficiencies. The best disposition for prayer is the acknowledgement of our insufficiency, weakness, and incompleteness. When you pray, be thankful to God, be it in prosperity or in poverty, because a grateful thought towards heaven is the most complete prayer, as said by God Hulk. Lesson. When you pray, be sincere in your prayer. It is not the body posture, the eloquence of the words used or the volume of your voice, but the sincerity of the heart that counts most in prayer. Pray consistently and constantly. Do not wait for problems to knock at your door. Rather begin your day with prayer, thus assuring yourself of heaven's blessings. Pray during the day, it assures you of courage. Pray before retiring at night, it assures you of sound sleep. Pray where you are. You don't have to wait for an opportunity or to go any particular place to pray, but pray anytime, anywhere. Pray for others. The best thing that we can give or we can do for others is to recommend them to God's loving providence. The scripture says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verse 5 through 13. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the street, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. But when you pray, do not use vain reputation as the hidden do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. 
and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil, one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Praise be to God, and may God bless us all.